Good morning, this is Miss Ruth. This is a lesson on parts of the mammal. The mammal that we're going to look at is a mammal of South America. This is called a guinea pig. Guinea pigs have been pets for thousands of years. The Incas domesticated the guinea pigs 3,000 years ago. And they are related to rodents like mice and squirrels, and you can see some of those similarities. So let's take a look at the different parts of this mammal, and I'll show you the work that you can do with this. The first thing I need to do is draw the animal, and I can put my mammal card underneath, and that, if I look carefully, I can kind of see the outline, and I'm not really tracing, but I'm just using that to help me get the shape. especially of there. Okay, and he's got his big ear there, little eye, nose, mouth, see some whiskers. a little different there. All right, so there is my guinea pig. This is a mammal. Mammals are warm-blooded creatures. They are vertebrates, so they have a backbone and skeleton. They also give birth to their babies. So instead of laying eggs, they actually keep their eggs inside of them. And then instead of going to get food, they produce milk and they use that to feed the babies. So they feed their babies with their own body instead of going out and getting food to bring back. And mammals have fur all over their bodies. So I am going to write mammal. Oops. Right. All of my small letters will be kept in the blue part of the paper. Mammal. And then I can add color with my colored pencils or paint. Now for my next part, I'm looking specifically at the head of the mammal. The head of a mammal contains the eyes, the ears, nose, and mouth, so it has a lot of important parts in it. The mammal can move its head from side to side using its neck. So let's see. And eye, nose, mouth, whiskers, fur. Using a red colored pencil, I'm going to color just the head. Because the mammal can move its head on its neck, that helps it look around. Some mammals are looking around for predators and danger. Others look around mostly for prey. And all of them are always looking for food. So let's see, head. <sighs> eh. And in this case, the E-A sound, the E eh sound, is made by E-A. Eh, D. Head. So I have my first page, my second page, 
Now I'm going to move on to the next, which is ears. The ears are very important because the ears are what the animal uses to hear. So again, for the size of its head, the guinea pig has pretty big ears. That means that hearing is really important to it. It needs to be able to hear if something bigger is coming along because it's pretty small. Okay. Let's get here, the visible ears, E-A in this case, Gives us the sound E. E -er -s ears. Other important parts of the mammal's body, the nose, which is used right there for smelling, just like we do, but always smelling for danger, for food, and also to determine if there's changes in the weather, knowing if they need to take cover from rain um, and things like that. This is the body of the mammal. So it is this part here that includes kind of the back and the stomach, and that is where the limbs are attached. And so we also can call this the trunk. In humans, it would be here from our shoulders down to our hips. So it's kind of what your legs and arms are attached to. And the body of the mammal is covered with hair. They have limbs that they use to move around. Those are legs in a mammal. And also to defend themselves. And the body contains the heart. And the heart pumps blood to the mammal giving oxygen to all parts of its body and keeping it warm. Mammals are warm blooded. And so the blood that runs through our veins also helps keep us warm and to take in oxygen. So those are some of the body parts. You have lots of cards so you can look and make all parts of the mammal. And when you're done, you can bind it with staples or you can punch holes and tie a ribbon. And you can make a book of the different parts of the mammal. So I hope that you will have fun and you can always do this for any animal um, using an animal encyclopedia. So I will see you soon. Bye.